In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to run the gun tight offense in Madden 23, or at least how to build it. Now, gun tight is one of the best offenses in Madden 23. What I wanted to do here at Bay is kind of recap some of the best offenses that we've seen over the course of the season and synthesize the information that we learned in Madden 23 so that you can transfer that information to Madden 24. If you want even more of an in-depth look at all this stuff, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you can get my entire gun tight offensive ebook as well as all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as some of the cool things that we're doing to prepare for Madden 24. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, the link is in the description if you want to sign up for that. So one of the best plays of Madden 23 this year has been the play slot post out of gun tight. This is in the Detroit Lions playbook, and this is a really good play for attacking man coverage. This year we've seen a lot of man coverage meta, and one of the best concepts that we've seen from the game this year is the rise of the slant post concept combined with certain other routes to open up pockets in the middle of the field to be able to throw. So how are we going to set this play up? So what we're going to do, and again, the primary first, first things first purpose of this play is to beat man coverage. So we want to make sure that we can easily beat man coverage. So the best way that I know to run this play is we're going to put Harold Carmichael here. We're going to put him on a streak. We're going to, uh, we also want to run this with our uh, tight uh, or our running back to the to the wide side of the field, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to slant this backside receiver. So this is going to create kind of the, the slant post concept. Now, if you wanted to, you could do it just like this as well. That's fine, okay? Um, you, could, you, could, you can kind of flip-flop that. But the biggest thing too is also with this, we're going to put our running back on a wheel and we're going to motion this receiver to the outside. Now, in a one-on-one -on -one scenario this year, these ag catches have been really, really good historically. Got deep out of lead or some big body receiver. You can throw these with a pretty high um, degree of consistency, especially this one in particular. So see, kind of right in there, you see how I do that ag. Now, if I got pick art, it's a little bit more difficult. As the game's kind of gone on, these have been a little bit more difficult to catch, okay? But... So if we wanted to run this, you know, like this, we could get kind of the same basic thing here um, in terms of the man beating ability of that slant route coming over the middle of the field. OK, so you can leave that fade or you can, you know, put something else on the field. But another thing that's really cool about this play. And like I said, this has been one of the best plays in the game since August. What you're going to notice here is if I get man to man coverage. Um, this post route to the tight end is one of the most consistent routes at beating man coverage in the game. Um, it's truly one of the best routes in the game. Now, if you're getting more zone coverage, specifically if you're getting like cover four, one I did want to point something out. So if you're getting cover four a lot, so let's say you're running this play. Uh, let me put the back back here. Um, but let's say let's say you're running this concept right, and you're getting a lot of cover four. If you're getting a lot of cover four, number one, your running back will be open in the seam. But number two, your tight end, you want to ag that before he gets to the safeties, okay? Now, if you are getting uh, traditionally a lot of cover four and you want to just a little bit easier of a way to beat it, one of the things that you can do here is put the tight end on a slot apprentice post. And what that slot apprentice post will do is that slot apprentice post will cut a little sharper and it will come underneath a little better against a cover four coverage. However, let's say that you're getting a double Mabel on the short side. So this is something that a lot of people like to do, myself included, is let's say you're getting something like this where you get a double flat because we know that short side floods here this year are really, really good. So maybe they do something like this and then they're gonna man up the running back to take him away and they're gonna use the slant over the middle of the field, okay? Hypothetically, right? I want you to watch this slot apprentice post. When I put him on that tight end slot apprentice, um, or when I put him on that hot round master or slot apprentice post route, what you're gonna notice here is that cloud is gonna be in perfect position to be able to take that away. So that's kind of the chess match of this play because you can run this at different depths and subsequently give the defense a little bit more difficulty uh, in terms of actually stopping this, okay? So let's say again, they cross me in the running back. You got the user in the middle of the field here. I'm gonna put him on a hook curl, but essentially they're trying to take away the slant because they're gonna trust that cloud flat uh, to take away the, the post, right? 
real quick, what you'll notice here is if they are in that and you run this slot post variation, it runs significantly deeper. Now it does take a little longer as well, but it does run uh, significantly, uh, significantly deeper down the field. And you can really take advantage of that. So let me show you that one more time here. And again, we've got that double flat concept. I'm gonna try to get the rush out of the way here for us so we can see just how deep this, uh, this tight end post will run. But what you'll see is he will actually get well over that cloud flat. As you can see, he will get over almost every zone drop cloud flat in the game. Um, that's going to run right at probably just a little bit over 35 yards. So you have a post route that pretty much is, and again, this is where the chess punch comes in. But if they start, let's say they start putting, um, you know, let's say, let's say they start running that same concept we just talked about, right? Double flat. One of the real cool things about gun tight, and this is what I think what people have really not understood yet this year. A lot of people will run this coverage. They're going to run double flat to the short side of the field, right? And they're going to have that vertical hook. What we can do, especially with a play like slot post, is if they're running a lot of that concept, we're just going to flip it. So instead, it's gonna look something like this. And then now when we motion out, you're gonna see here, instead of putting the running back on a seam wheel, maybe we put the running back on a table route or a flat route, something simple, right? And then on this left side, you can put this guy on a streak or whatever you wanna do, okay? But the bottom line is what you'll notice is now, this post route here has a lot more room because of the ability from tight to be able to motion out into a lot of different types of uh, sets. That's what makes tight, I think, personally so good because you could be in bunch tight in, right, if you want to run it like this. Um, or you could be in gun doubles. Um, there's a lot of different variety within this formation, but this basic concept really does, I think, make the formation super effective. Something like this is very consistent of being able to attack man coverage, and the beauty is you're able to attack man coverage at different depths while looking exactly the same to your opponent. So this is just part one of building the best tight offense in Madden. We're going to talk about it some more uh, tomorrow. But if you've not gotten my gun tight offensive ebook yet, you can get all of that stuff in the Patreon. Ten bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon, including the gun tight offense. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and go click the link down below.